What's up? It's your boy Carcino here, and let's talk about it. Don Cherry. Don, Don, Don. Right here on One Crack News, we get right to it, baby. Don Cherry. The Canadian hockey guy. People are like, who? Why is this news? Why am I listening to something about Canadian hockey? I don't know who that dude is. The 85-year-old Don Cherry went on what they call the rant in Canada. Now, he has a show, and Sportsnet has hired him. He's been known for Canadian hockey and talking about it for years. And he's got a show that's titled HNIC. I will not lie to you. <laughs> it is called Sunday Night on Coach's Corner. And it's a popular segment called the HNIC. Yeah, it's called the HNIC. Hockey Night in Canada. <laughs> oh, buddy. And he's under, he's under attack due to uh, statements that he made about new immigrants in Toronto. And it has rubbed people the wrong way. Now, this is an 85-year-old man, and you're trying to change him? So... What this was about was about the troops. And for people here in America that don't know what poppies are, poppies are some things that you would wear, you know, in honor normally of the troops. You know, they wear these things they call poppies. You know, and it's nothing but a little red, little badge with a dot on it. It looked like a bullseye. So you want to keep your little poppy on, and he thinks that a lot of these immigrants are not, you know, supporting the troops enough, the Canadian troops. So he goes on a rant on the new immigrants, and his statement was, you people love our way of life, you love our milk and honey, at least you could pay a couple of bucks for some poppies or something like that. These guys pay for your way of life that you enjoy in Canada. Downtown Toronto, forget it, downtown Toronto. Nobody wears a poppy. <laughs> so it became the poppy thing, and it looked like a regular night. Even his co-host gave the thumbs up, like, okay. Oh, it caught heat. Sportsnet was attacked by all these different immigrant people. And the president says sports is supposed to bring us together, unite us, not divide us. So they decided to speak with Don Cherry on Saturday night. Because this all went down on, uh, what today is the 11th? So this went down on the 9th. So they spoke to him after the broadcast to have a, you know, a nice little talk with him. To say this is not something we can say on the air. We cannot start off with you people. So they talked with Don. And they wanted the Don to do like a walk back. They say look. We want you to go out there. Apologize. Uh, walk it back. Saying this and that, you know, and everything will be everything. You're talking to an 85 year old man who's stuck in his ways. There was no way he was walking it back and was like, There's no way. I stand by everything I said. I didn't say nothing wrong. You leave us no choice, Don. We're going to have to let you go and terminate it. You going to fire me over this? No problem. Don's gone. <laughs> so, do it. <clears throat> All of this. Mm. 
mm mm The president of the company had to come out and say, Oh, Bart. During the broadcast, he has made divisive remarks that does not represent our values or what we stand for. Don is synonymous with hockey, and he has played an integral role in the game for the last 40 years. We would like to thank Don for his contributions to hockey and sports broadcasting in Canada. Thanks, Bart. The president of Sportsnet. But, you know, normally when people get this news, they, they let their publicists talk. And they'll go sit down somewhere. But this dude's 85. All he want to do is talk. He went and told Warrington he was hurt to be fired on the day because it's Remembrance Day, which is here called Veterans Day. I've just learned I've been fired by Sportsnet for comments I made on the coach's corner on November the 9th. No problem. <laughs> I know what I said and I meant it. Everybody in Canada should be wearing a poppy to honor our fallen soldiers. I speak the truth and I walk the walk. I visit the bases of the troops to been at Gaffistan with our brave soldiers at Christmas, been to cemeteries of our fallen soldiers around the world, and honored our fallen troops on Coach's Corner. So, he got a swift backlash by the NHL and a lot of politicians. And the NHL said, offensive and contrary to the values we believe in. Despicable. We're proud of diverse cultural heritage and will always stand up for it. New immigrants enrich our country for the better. We're all Canadians and wear our poppies proudly. So, Canadian Broadcasted Standards Council had been so overloaded with complaints about this <laughs> commentator's rant, it hit the limit of the organization's technical processing capacity. They have a lot of people outraged with Don Cherry over there in Canada. So the CVSC has received a large number of very similar complaints concerning the Coach Corner's broadcast of CBC. So... Jerry still stands by what he says, but like he says, I remember when I first started on Coach's Corner, we weren't even allowed to say Merry Christmas on the air. We used to have to say Season's Greetings. <laughs> now that's changed. <laughs> I'm a right winger to the extreme. And I really believe on this country and how they feel about service. And it's important and about crime. People are sick of crime and they're proud of their military. Not to the extent they should be. But they're more proud of their troops than never. So, I guess he won with the season greetings to Merry Christmas. So, I don't know. He felt... The military was pretty well on the ropes for a long time with our government, but now when you see a trooper in the airport, people go up and shake their hands. Things have changed, and I would say it's changing for the better. That's how he felt then, until he was canned. So, y'all tell me what y'all think. With old Don out of his bag, or... Why didn't they have a problem with the show being called the HNIC? <laughs> you think that was just a coincidence? They called that the HNIC? Hockey Night in Canada. Nah, that wasn't an accident. <laughs> but um, tell me what you think in the comment section. And by all ways, you guys always could 
support the page by clicking the link in the description box or matter of fact just hit the cash app up carcino is the name on the cash app and you could um, subscribe and hit the notification button once again thank you